All right, guys, the transition is finally here. The swapping of the AGM to lithiums, folks. Believe it or not, that's a lot of power sitting right there. It's a lot of power. And these batteries are really cold. So let's check the temperature right now. Unbelievable. I'm so excited. This is almost completing a pack of power. Can you imagine that? Let's check this baby still working. All right. It still works. So let's try to shoot on these batteries. This one just came. And let me turn the laser on. Sorry. Yeah, um, it's a laser light, but it's just because of the light is on. There you go. You see that little guy right there? Let me turn the light. So we're shooting on this. Let's see, 65 degrees. 64. So, let me just keep you the guys updated with all these latest. And this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. And um, I'm using my infrared uh, double meter. It's the reads at 0, 0.5 degrees to 500 degrees Celsius. We started at 0. Oh, okay, minus. 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 932 932 degrees Fahrenheit so guys these are the batteries we're gonna give it a big applause for the system guys I know you guys are happy for me and I'm happy you guys to serve you and give you all the videos I could and how this battery is gonna be wor working if they're going to be going with, um, oh, if they're going to be going with, uh, 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 whatever you call them, uh, 24, 48, or 60 volts, 12 volts. I am ready, baby. I'm ready. I'm ready. No more AGMs. I'm not going to say no more, no more. I take that back. You never know. I love my AGMs. And people who have been following me with all the AGMs, batteries, and all the cool stuff, sealed acid. I want to thank you so much, guys, for being part of this show. And JW Solar would have been there way, way, way before on the lithiums. But I was dragging my feet and wrapping my tail not to go yet because the reason why lithiums, when they came out, is a problem. The problem is the lithiums were having caught on fire and all that kind of hazardous and the cell phone. I was part of the guys for the cell phone. My phone never got on fire, but we saw like planes and all of the stuff. They started getting some trouble because the manufacturer, manufacturers and the, the scientists are really new into this one whole process. But they gave them a liquid cooling system. And they have a battery temperature sensors. You can see this was incorporated with sensors. This one as well, if you do, um, they have sensors somewhere. They have that connection. But here is the, the thing you can connect for your BMSs. It's right here. You see right there. All these batteries are interconnect. But, guys, I am so thankful. I'm so grateful. I've been waiting. I've been praying for this so that... Um, I can able to transition, not in a cheap way, but very the expensive or reliable. It's not like the expensive way, but I want something reliable, good ingenuity. I have American, sorry, <clears throat> I have American ingenuity over there, which is the Ford Focus. Then I have the German ingenuity here, which is for the e-golf. So if you check this out, folks. I have here each pack is a kilowatt is a thousand watts thousand watts so six of them is six kilowatts sitting right here and here these are uh, this reads about a uh, 14.4 um, volt 
and these ones are reading at uh, 16 point something volt so this is a 48 configuration right now if you see my you already seen my first video it has a 48 volts configuration they had a little small pack over there to give me the complete 48 that's a 7.5 volt this was all reading at 16 16 16 32 whatever you can make it this gives me about 52 point something volts right now so guys this is really 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 awesome i can't believe that and the batteries are here and um we are ready for the transition and we're going to be transitioned and you guys will see that and thank you guys and thank you guys so for thank you so much you know <clears throat> to thank you guys i was waiting for this for making my uh, 4,000 subscribers. I'm now 4,050, something like that. But guys, if not for you guys, I should have made it because you guys are watching my videos and you guys are giving me thumbs up. Some people are giving me thumbs down. But you know what? As long as we're driving at the main stream or where we're going, we know where we're heading to. Because I like to have all this new technology and try to show it to my, my 4,000 plus subscribers. And you guys have been following me from day one. I want to thank you for, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of this project. As we are heading to the 5K, 5,000 watt this year, guys, I'm looking for that transition. That's why I'm trying to bring you, like I told you last year. I'm going to be bringing you more content, different things, and different upgrades. You know, you guys have seen upgrading into the charge controllers. I have the PT100, and I have the Magnum. I have the Outback, and I, I just upgraded to the um, Outback FX4, um, FX80. So, you guys seen the Midnight Classic 200. And I'm trying to get you guys, all my people that love, that follow me because of my, uh, the equipment that they have, they seen I have them, and they see they, we want to work, to work together here, and all those charge controllers are still here. I have the Midnight, I have the BT100 by Magnum, I have the Outback, the FX60, FX, um, Outbacks FX, ah, sorry, the Outbacks, the, the, the 80, so, and you guys see my Outback, the FX 3048 in my inverter, and my um, Magnum um, 4024, these are the two inverters that probably going to be working with this, or my XW6048 made by Xantrex, and that's going to be a next charge controller that will be coming for that. That's a big boy. Who knows? One of these packs, maybe the Ford Focus, and it's going to be having another pack there, which are 3.5 kilowatt. And uh, maybe I'm going to be adding two more of these. Um, um, the Volkswagen, uh, the E-Golf, two more of these so I can have two strings of 48 volt at 75 amp hours this battery is a 70 is a is a 75 amp hours each all right that was about 68 68 amp hours so guys 3.5 kilowatts and 6 kilowatts 6 kilowatts if i had six seven eight two more i'll have eight kilowatts on the volkswagen german ingenuity american ingenuity right now supporting both companies Hey guys, I don't think I'll be much happier than this because dream comes true. The next, I'm going to be having or adding another packs of this again for 48 volt. Then I'm set. Okay, that probably going to go for the, um, the, um, the XW6048, the Xantrex. Or this guy's gonna go to XW6048. Who knows? Or I'm gonna go 24 volt with this one, so I can more amp hours <clears throat> on my on my um, Magnum. I need two more, so I can have four strings of twos on 24 volt. 
Maybe I can keep this one still 48 volts. Who knows? I just want to check test the performance. I'm going to do that for you. That's why I want to complete two packs of these so that I can have these. I can test both batteries simultaneously. Run 48 volt, 24 volt, or 24 volt, 48 volt, or 48 volt, 48 volt. Maybe the, the, the XW6048 will run on that one or this one. If I have two more packs on this and I'm running the odd back because they're all black, maybe I can put them for the odd back. FX sixty four X outback thirty forty eight so three kilowatt forty eight volt or six kilowatt twenty four volt configuration and probably guys this is the way I'm gonna be running this system I don't know yet if I can put these batteries together maybe one of you guys out there will know if these batteries can talk to each other or they have the same chemistry I've seen it on my guy in Canada. You know, flipping 720, he has these batteries. He has this one. He doesn't have this one, but he has this ones. So I might probably contact him and see if they're going to be talking to each other. Because we don't want to do any mistakes here because these batteries are all expensive. They're really expensive. And you guys can look them up, whatever. But um, I'm not going to mess them up. Like I said, we're taking the baby steps and make sure everything works well. No, no, no hazard, no hazard, no destruction, no risk of money. But this stuff has to work. If this ones I can put together, parallel them all in 48 volt. But the voltage, 14.14.4, then there's a 16 point something. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do I'm going to be fine, probably get some of these and add them up add this ones up add this ones up but i'm not gonna mix this but this is if this one with the um with the the nissan leaf if i use this one's a nissan leaf i think that will work so but but at this point this is i'm gonna be doing i don't know yet these are all the ideas i have out there these are all the ideas look at this huge heat sink Huge heat sink. It's really cold. Ooh. Let me check the temperature on these ones. They are cold. So it's a 65 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect, which is a 76 for batteries. See that? So these ones are warm. It's a 75. See that? These ones are the old one that, that came earlier a week ago. This one's just came in today. It runs at 66, 64. But and these ones are cold as well. At 62. But anyway, guys, this is how we're gonna do it. And um I wanna run all these batteries so that the same name brand they can go together. Look at this, they're stackable. This is the most clean setup I like. You stack them up like this, you are fine. I can able to mount these batteries as well because if I can put just like a long bolt, screw all the way from here, from here all the way, like one pack or each other, stack them all the way like on a wall. If I have like a sheet rock, it stacks all the way up there. Perfect. Just like the uh, the Tesla batteries. But this is where I'm going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Stay tuned for more videos coming.